Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and today I want to talk about Enneagram 3, the performer. And the Enneagram 3 has two core priorities that are interesting to remember. First, this is an ambitious type, but it's also a heart type. And the heart wants to be first and foremost loved. It wants to be seen, it wants to be appreciated. It wants other people to look at it and to find it beautiful and valuable and meaningful. The ambitious types are the trees and the eights, as well as the social orientation instinct. The tree is ambitious in the sense that it wants and values hard work and effort, overcoming obstacles, managing competition. And that means the tree wants to work hard to push themselves to overcome obstacles and competition to be loved, to be successful, to be loved. Those are the two priorities of the Enneagram tree. And sometimes the two can collide and they can collide in the sense that uh, you can find yourself being successful and succeeding and doing well, but at the same time alienating yourself from your family and your friends. Finding that no matter how hard you work, other people don't see you, they don't appreciate what you do and all the hard work you put in. Now the tree is, in all of this, constantly working to reaffirm themselves and to get this love. And uh, here is the trap for the Enneagram tree in the sense that they can start spinning tails to make themselves appreciated by other people. They can start selling and marketing themselves and creating this image of themselves that other people will like and love. And to some extent it can collide, like there's a constant balancing here. You have to constantly balance your ambition and your thirst for success with your thirst for love. And that means you have to constantly keep these two together and often what can keep you from being successful is your desire to be loved and what can keep you from being loved is your desire to be successful and so there's just a constant tug of war that Enneagram 3 finds themselves in and uh, the ideal of course is to perhaps uh, stand up and to be seen and for all the people at your workplace or uh, as a comedian for all your audience to laugh at your jokes and for everyone to think you're a good guy, you're hard work and my god that man is a successful person and that's a good person. That's the ideal for the Enneagram tree, that's when they are at their highest, like when they have gained the love of the audience and of the people around them and the success that they strive for. And uh, it's when one of these is faltering that the Enneagram tree falls into its unhealthy tendencies. And the unhealthy tendencies are often related to trauma. You can see uh, in ambition, the main trauma is I'm not successful enough. I'm not working hard enough. I'm not good enough at what I do. And when you feel you're, you're not good enough at what you do, you might start to pretend to be better than you are. You might start feigning or pretending to be successful when you're not. And of course, you see yourself in a sense as a fraud in doing this. And you see and look at yourself while you do it and you feel bad about it, but you do it also. So it can be this spiral. And um, the other issue, the other trauma is I'm not loved. I'm not appreciated. People don't like me for what I do. And uh, that can drive like also the tendency to what, what am I doing wrong? What, why do people not like me? And often the answer is I'm not working hard enough. <laughs> and that's the spiral here. Like you think that the only way you can deserve love is by hard work. And that's also what Enneagram trees tend to suffer with. Like they don't believe they deserve to be loved for who they are and for just being the people they are. They, deserve, they believe that they can only deserve to be loved from hard work. And if they're not working hard, they don't deserve to be loved. It's this that uh, can drive also the Enneagram's uh, growth and stress loops. Now, when uh, the Enneagram tree is under stress, they tend to become more concerned with social status. It's more about appearance. It's more about fitting in. It's more about blending in. The Enneagram tree 
is uh, ideally all about standing out, like managing competition and being uh, one of the better performers, being one of the better at uh, gaining the audience to look at you, to see you and to value you. Uh, but if you can't do that, the stress loop is to just try to fit in, to just try to be one with the crowd, to at least not be isolated by other people, to at least not be alienated by other people, because that's like the worst for the Indian country, to actually be completely alienated and isolated from everyone, to be an outcast, to be shunned. So when the Enneagram 3 believes it can't succeed or when it doesn't believe it can stand out or be appreciated, it's, it kind of falls down to the secondary priority of just fitting in and just being one with the crowd. When in growth, the Enneagram 3 rather falls into the Enneagram 8 priority of success, victory, and being kind of like a champion, like actually starting to find yourself more in a leader role, actually leading the crowd and directing everyone, rather than just being the hardest worker in the workplace, actually being the boss of the workplace, actually being the person that is in charge of everyone's well-being and of everyone's happiness and of everyone's success and the success of the company or the project or the venture that you're working on. Uh, that's the highest state for any Grand Prix, actually winning, actually being the champion, actually being the top shot. And um, when uh, the eight starts to kick in, the gut starts to kick in. The Enneagram 3 starts actually finding what they want to do, what they want, what they yearn for, what they lust for. Like the Enneagram 8 brings up this question of lust, of what do I want? Not just I want to be loved, not just uh, I want people to like me, but I want to have this, I want to get this, I want to achieve this, I want to do well at this. Like when the eight is not there, it's when that's when the Enneagram tree will simply do what other people like, no matter if it's good or no matter if it gives any value to the world. But when the lust kicks in, the Enneagram tree actually starts delivering hard work, actually starts putting themselves into something, actually starts investing energy into doing something well and doing something in a way that will give results, that will make things better for the workplace, that will make things better for people. When Enneagram 3 is blinded from this lust or hasn't really f developed this, uh, that's when they can do things that will make that will only focus on appearing like a good worker, appearing like you're doing a good job, but not actually doing a good job. So make sure as an Enneagram 3 that you find this sense of lust and uh, that the lust isn't like blind, that this isn't just about appearance, but it's also about what you want. Make sure that you always have that as a kind of grounder. Then the question is that of the social instinct. And the important thing to recognize here is that this is a stress tendency. So that's not a positive tendency. This is when the Enneagram tree starts to disintegrate. Uh, and here, like the instincts start to kick in. Uh, your fear, your nervosity, uh, your like nerves start kicking in as an Enneagram tree. And Enneagram trees can have issues with nerves. They can have stage fright. They can have issues with getting up there and actually doing something and actually doing well at something. And uh, when these take over, you start disintegrating into like focusing purely on social status and your social status. You worry if you do this that other people will laugh at you, you'll do a bad job and other people won't like you and you'll be shunned and you'll be an outcast of the group. And this can keep you from trying your best, it can keep you from growth, it can keep you from uh, actually pushing yourself into situations that will help you. So as an Enneagram tree, uh, be wary of this tendency, be wary of compromising your thirst for success and for achievement and for hard work uh, just to be liked and just to fit in. It's uh, generally the case that the Enneagram trees are among the types that struggle the most with insecurity, anxiety and neuroticism. And this is the secret here, because they are also the least likely to talk about it, uh, the least likely to say that they have issues, that they have struggles, that they feel bad, that they're not happy. Often uh, they will cover up their mood. And uh, the reason here, the, the important reason to confront in Enneagram 3 is that 
your lack of stability and your lack of ability to settle and your lack of ability to steady yourself and to be happy with what you have is often what drives this insecurity, this anxiety, this neuroticism. Uh, because you feel that you have to earn or work hard or push yourself or uh, because you feel like you have to, that love is something that has to be earned. You struggle with a lack of uh, stability. Uh, and here's like the question, is it possible that you can just be loved for who you are? Is it, is there, are there people out there that you love just for who they are, not for what they do? Are there people in life that you would always love no matter what they did? And uh, can you extend that to yourself as well? I find that is often the key step to self-actualize trees. And that is the key step to also coming in touch with your MBTI type and your flow type and finding flow. When you are able to perform and to work hard without feeling and, and to fail and to not do well and to sometimes not work and to still feel that you are worthy of love, that you're still a good person, even if you're not always working, even if you're not always producing, even if you're not always looking happy and successful and well achieved and popular. Because that's also one of the Enneagram three traps that when you come home and nobody is looking at you, nobody is laughing at your jokes and you're not doing anything and you feel that like tr that sense that you're not loved and you're not appreciated. Uh, it's so important to develop that sense, that uh, sense of self-love that can keep you going even when you get home and even when the spotlight fades and even when you're not doing well and even when you're not being that happy, successful ideal that you sometimes uh, believe you have to represent. So I hope this video helped you as an Enneagram tree to understand often your tr tendencies, your kickbacks and uh, your strengths as well, in a sense, and your positive side, that positive sense of humor, that positive energy, that passion and that can-do attitude and that ability to work hard and to push your limits. Because you have so much good to offer and you have so much amazing inside you and it's all about following that and fighting that trauma and that anxiety and finding a sense of stability and finding a sense of inner passion and something you want to get more in touch with your core MBTI personality type, whatever that might be. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.